13 things a woman should never do for the man she loves. Women will do a lot for the men they love. Some women are even willing to sacrifice their happiness. However, just because something is done in the name of love does not mean it's the right thing to do. It's all too easy to get caught up in the romance and neglect your own identity and self-worth. This is possibly one of the most significant pieces of relationship advice for people seeking long-term love. And while each relationship is as unique as the people in it, there are several things that a woman should avoid doing merely for the sake of a man. So here are 13 things that a woman should never do for the man she loves. Number one, don't take on a motherly role. A woman should never find herself in a role where she has to function as the mother of a fully capable man, as this might stifle the collaborative nature of the relationship. This role shift frequently leads to a situation in which your partner becomes too dependent or less accountable. It also throws an undue emotional weight on you, as you may feel more like a caregiver than an equal partner. Both members in a partnership ought to maintain their positions as partners, contributing equally and supporting one another. Number two, do not forgive every single time. If a mistake is made once, it deserves a warning and an apology. But anything that becomes a recurring trend should be regarded as a red flag in the relationship. If you've put your foot down and despite that, your partner continues to make the same mistakes, it's time to either quit the relationship or seek counseling. On the contrary, women frequently compromise and apologize even when they are not at fault in order to save their relationship. Our advice? Do not encourage unacceptable conduct and stop apologizing right away. Number three, do not tolerate abusive or disrespectful behavior. This is non-negotiable. Abuse and disrespect should never be tolerated. This includes physical, emotional, and verbal abuse. Respect and safety are essential in every relationship. When one of them is compromised, it becomes a major issue. You deserve a compassionate and nurturing relationship in which love brings joy rather than pain. Number four, do not give up your financial independence and rely solely on a man. Financial independence is more than just money. It's about the freedom, confidence, and security that it provides. Relying only on a man for monetary support can lead to dependency, which can have an influence on the power dynamic in the relationship. It can also limit your freedom to make decisions and can lead to feelings of entrapment or loss of control over your life. Maintaining financial independence is empowering because it gives you a sense of self-sufficiency and may serve as a safety net during difficult times. Number five, do not be too giving. While it's not bad to give in a relationship, rather, it is what makes a relationship complete, giving to the point where you put your own needs aside is not acceptable. For example, if the partner is abusive, physically, emotionally, or verbally, a step must be taken as we previously discussed. Give a warning saying that it's not acceptable, but if it is something wrong that's happening repeatedly, it's time to end the relationship. The primary reason we enter a relationship is for our own growth, and anything that hampers that is unhealthy. Number six, don't have blind faith. While trust is the foundation of any relationship, keep an eye out for red flags and sudden behavioral changes in your partner. There will be some changes in your partner's behavior, they won't take place overnight, and this must be noticed. This doesn't mean that you will become insecure in your relationship. Instead, keep an eye out for red flags and address them. After all, communication is essential to every good partnership. Number seven, do not stay in a relationship because of fear or obligation. Staying in a relationship for fear of being alone, social pressure, or a sense of responsibility can be emotionally taxing and unsatisfying. It's critical to prioritize your happiness and well-being, which might mean leaving an unhealthy or no longer serving relationship. If you're staying for reasons other than love, true emotional connection, or compatibility, you might want to reevaluate your situation. While love involves compromise, it should never come at the expense of your own identity, pleasure, or well-being. The right man will accept you for who you are, appreciate your uniqueness, and support your dreams and goals. Stay true to yourself, and you'll not only improve your life, but also bring the best possible version of yourself into the relationship. Number eight, do not let a man control or manipulate your decisions. Decisions are often made collaboratively in a healthy and trustworthy relationship, taking into account each other's respective feelings. 
If a man tries to control or influence your decisions, it's more than simply a red flag. It's a clue that the relationship is headed into unhealthy territory. Your voice and choices are equally important, and it's critical to distinguish between someone who offers guidance and someone who wants to dominate. A partner who respects you will appreciate your decisions even if they differ from his. Number nine, do not make your partner your only priority. Women often devote so much time and energy to their partners or spouses that their personal lives suffer as a consequence. While becoming friends with your spouse's friends is a fantastic idea, don't forget to cultivate your own social circle. Women frequently lose connection with their friends once they have a significant other. Their priorities shift and they begin to focus on their partner or spouse, which is not the case with men. Men, on the other hand, prioritize you, but they know how to prioritize themselves as well. Some of the blame may be attributed to the kind of society in which you live and how you are raised. Most parents tell their daughters that they must make adjustments, yet they do not know to what degree. In fact, parents should engage in these conversations with their children. Number 10. Don't pretend to be someone you aren't. In the pursuit of being the ideal partner, there is a strong urge to shape yourself into an ideal image. However, when you appear to be someone you're not, you're building a relationship built on a facade. Authenticity is the foundation upon which true love grows. It's not about finding someone who adores an ideal version of you, but rather someone who adores the authentic, unfiltered you. A companion who genuinely values you will embrace every facet of your personality, your strengths, weaknesses, quirky habits, and innermost convictions. Number 11. Have Kids If you and your partner decide to have children, you should ensure that you are both on the same page. Having a kid is a major decision that must be carefully considered and not taken lightly. It's critical that both of you are prepared and willing to take on the responsibility of raising a kid. If one of you is unsure, it's preferable to wait until both of you are prepared and in agreement. It's also crucial to talk about how you'll both participate in the parenting process and share duties. Finally, having a kid should be a joint decision between you and your partner. Number 12. Avoid lying or covering up for a man's mistakes. Honesty is the foundation of trust in every relationship. Covering up or lying about your man's faults can result in a web of deception that is hard to untangle. It could compromise your integrity and encourage possibly harmful conduct, as well as place you in ethically and legally questionable situations. While being honest is not always easy, a respectable man accepts responsibility for his actions. He will not ask you to cover up his mistakes. Instead, he will own them and work to make apologies. And number 13, do not ignore your own needs. Your needs are as important as your partner's. Putting a man's desires ahead of your own all the time wears you down and might disrupt the relationship's balance. Furthermore, if you consistently put someone else's demands ahead of your own, you risk losing touch with the things that make you happy. This type of self-neglect can lead to feelings of dissatisfaction and bitterness. So now we've covered 13 things a woman should never do, no matter how much she loves or feels attracted to a man. Do you like what you've just watched? If so, please like and share the video with your friends. And thanks for watching.